Hello everybody and welcome back to another Mountain View Soap Co. video. Today is a very special day. It is my two-year soap anniversary, so I wanted to let you know there are a ton of fun things happening on the website, like 20% off almost everything, and if you place an order today for the remainder of the 27th, you will be entered to win a $100 gift card, and that is open worldwide. Okay, let's get into the two limited edition, only available today, soaps. So, meaning if you see this on the 28th, they will no longer be available. Anyway, the first soap that we are going to make is a Baja Cactus scent. I have had a lot of people ask me to bring this back, and I bought a really cute little mini succulent mold, and I decided why the heck not use it for this soap, because it's only going to be available for today, which... Thank goodness it is because it is a very tedious soap and you'll see what I mean when I start putting the embeds in. The two colors, or the three colors rather I should say, that I used for this soap are titanium dioxide for the kind of white slash cream colored base, ballet slippers by Mad Micas, and then um, chromium green oxide I think is what it's called, and that's also from Mad Micas. So I'll link all of that stuff below if you'd like to check it out. And then I have two different shades of the green and the pink just to add a little bit of extra prettiness. And then on top we're going to put a lot of really beautiful mini tiny, like absolutely the smallest succulents you've ever seen ever on top of the soap. And I was running out of daylight when I was making this, so I actually ended up soaping a bit hotter than what I normally do, and this fragrance does accelerate a slight bit. So we ended up with a pretty gloppy kind of a base, but that's okay. It ended up working out really, really beautifully, actually. And I also did use a hanger tool to kind of mix it up. I actually overhangered this a little bit, so I will make sure to not make that mistake again when I make the soap tonight on TikTok. So if you are watching this as soon as this video comes out, I am probably going to be live on TikTok already. So come on over, say hello, and uh, if you're watching this in the future, then I apologize, but I'm probably not going to be <laughs> live. Maybe I am. I mean, come check me out anyway and see. Um, I ended up having to like glop a lot of the batter inside of the mold because it was just it was not pourable which was fine I actually kind of liked the way it ended up turning out minus the over um, hanger swirling and we are gonna cut both soaps on camera I have both of the cuts and honestly to be really truthful with you the next soap that we're gonna make is the one that I'm most excited about it's the one that I put the most time into I think I've spent a total of 15 hours on the clay embeds for it so it definitely was <laughs> it was a bit it was a big soap for me and the best part about that is the clay embeds can actually be made into clay charms on the neck soap or clay earrings I should say and I actually send you the extra pieces to make them into the clay earrings so you basically get a two for one with that soap now let's go ahead and put the embeds on can you see how tiny they are they are literally the tiniest tiny of tiny and i am also doing a little margaret swirling here which you'll see in just a minute and if you don't know who margaret is um margaret and john from warm and fuzzy soapery they are absolutely amazing i lived next to them for actually a year <laughs> and we never ended up getting to meet i ended up moving to ohio before we had a chance to meet but margaret is a wonderful wonderful woman they are the, probably the most nicest people that I have met while I've started soaping and they are just they're amazing so go check them out they make a lot of um, soap they don't do frosted soaps like I do but they do um, really nice bar soaps that are named after music so definitely definitely check them out okay so I actually sped this video up 650% and it's still quite long but i went with the same gradient colors that are on the inside the ballet slippers with the titanium dioxide and then the chromium green with the titanium dioxide for the middle and i placed each one of these hand like i hand placed them obviously you can see me hand placing them right now it took a minute and i actually had to stop and take a break halfway through because <laughs> i just it was it's so tedious and Honestly, the making of the succulents aren't as bad because I'm just pressing soap dough into a mold and taking it out. It's the hand placing them that is so tedious to me that it makes me never want to make this soap again. But that's why it's only available for a day and that's the uh, nice benefit of being able to do something like this is 
giving you guys something that I wanted to make but don't want to make a lot of. <laughs> um, anyway, to talk a little bit more about what's going on today, I started making soap two years ago today. I started with a Brambleberry um, soap making kit and I'm very grateful for Brambleberry for offering those kits because I get overwhelmed very easily and if it wasn't for those kits, I don't personally believe that I would still be soaping today because I probably would have gotten so overwhelmed with what was going on that I wouldn't have had a chance to actually like sit down and make the soap because a lot of people either make soap with a kit or they do all the research and they buy all the things separately and that's what my friend Casey from What the Sud Soap did and uh, I mean I give her props because if that was me it just wouldn't I wouldn't be where I am today but I also posted some Instagram stories today of my first loaves, my first um, frosted soaps, and it's honestly like a little tear jerking to me to see how far I've come in two years. Most days it does not feel like, you know, I'm progressing in any way, shape, or form, but when you look back at those pictures, you realize like, oh my goodness, I did actually improve so much. And it's it's really, truly an incredible feeling. And I'm very grateful for everybody who has been here to support me and, you know, ordered and shared and done all the things because without you, I would not be here. So today is a very amazing day for everyone, including me, especially me and the soap shop. But here is the cut of the soap like i said it did get a little over blended and stuff like that so we're gonna try to avoid that tonight but it still turned out really really pretty and now we're gonna just jump right into the next soap we're jumping we're jumping straight in so this is going to be a six layer confetti soap i started with purple on the bottom and honestly i'm gonna be really truthful with you in this footage you really can't tell too much the difference between the colored layers because i am using white for the base so it's a little like kind of pointless to record the video but i'm going to show you anyway so basically what i did was i made a batch of cold process soap in the six colors of the rainbow i shredded them down um and then my like favorite trick now that i found out last night <laughs> for making confetti soaps is actually blending the confetti inside of the soap batter because it makes the chunks really, really tiny. I don't personally like the looks of confetti soaps that have like a bunch of stringies on it. It just seems very weird to me and I'm also incredibly odd. Like the way that I view things and my personal preferences are just weird anyway um so I really liked the way that that turned out and unfortunately I used so much of the confetti last night to make the soap that I had to shred up some more grate up some more and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get the same effect tonight but I'm gonna try it has been sitting out for almost a full day so I'm hoping that it will kind of have hardened enough um to you know get this look this sat out graded for i think two days so i'm like one day behind on that but i just did the layers i started with um, purple then blue and then green yellow orange and red and then on top we have a really really beautiful blue frosting and the reason why i decided to go with this soap was a when am i ever going to make another birthday funfetti inspired like soap again probably only on Mountain View Soap's birthday, which only comes once a year, or my birthday, which I've already done my birthday and I probably won't do it again. So I figured instead of trying to like, I, I really looked for like probably two weeks to figure out what I wanted to make. And then this idea popped in my head and I'm like, okay, this is just, this is what we're going to do because I'm running out of time and I need to do stuff as is this morning. Like the morning of me recording this, I was up at three o'clock this morning molding little cakes, the little cakes that go on top of this soap. Um, and unfortunately there was a problem with those guys, which I'll tell you now because I'm still just whipping up the, uh, the middle batches and stuff like that. But basically what happened was I tried to cheat the system a little bit and I don't know a ton about clay. I know enough to make it work, but um, clearly I'm not immune to mistakes. And I hand like made the cake slices and the cake inside of the frosting look like on the actual clay pieces look like real cake and when I was going to stick the little um eyelet in for the part to make it like an earring 
I was messing up all of that work that I had spent hours on because that was what took me the longest. And so I was like, oh, maybe, you know, like maybe I can bake it for just like five minutes or whatever and then stick in the little eyelet and then I won't mess up the outside, but it'll still work. Well, joke's on me. You can't do that. Um, When I went to bake them the second time for the full, full length of time, I would say about 50% of them cracked open and I was absolutely devastated. So thankfully I did not make that same mistake this morning. So all of the ones that I made this morning are absolutely perfect, which I'm really excited to show everybody tonight on the TikTok live and to make, of course. Um, and also to show you guys once I get that um, situation situated, but It was just like I was so devastated because I was already running out of time. I was already running late. Daylight, I was literally losing daylight because I had to get these soaps made last night so I could make the video for you today and end up doing all of the pictures and stuff like that so it could go on the website at midnight last night. And it was just like I need a good long nap and a break because I'm currently running on about three and a half hours of sleep and I need, I need, um, I need a a good long nap. Anyway, we are gonna miss the last pour because I unfortunately forgot to repress record on the camera, but this is my beautiful blue frosting. I actually used a mermaid mica from Brambleberry for this. I normally use blue tide, but I was worried it would be too close to the cake color inside of the clay charms and I really wanted the clay charms to stick out so I went with a just a slightly different shade of blue so on top of this soap we have a really really cute number two charm and that's just for two years and then we also have the cake slices and like I said there's going to be two cake slices on every single soap slice or soap and then I will also be sending a separate little tiny baggie for everyone who orders the soap they'll also be getting a pair of like earrings and um the little uh jump rings so that you can make your own earrings out of it once you've used the soap I will also say this was the first soap that I had made off camera that I had piped and um or piped soap frosting with and I am so happy with how it turned out i was rushed but at the same time like the you know the sun had pretty much gone down at this point so i was like okay i don't really need to rush anymore let me take my time and make this look really nice and the frosting was the perfect consistency it was a beautiful blue and i just had so much fun making this soap despite the stress also if you take a look at on my phone that is margaret from warm and fuzzy soapery she was live last night while i was making this soap so i hopped on and listened while i was doing this so margaret if you're watching this video this is what i meant when i said i was making soap while watching your live <laughs> um i really spend a lot of time on tiktok and i love supporting other creators and being on their lives and stuff like that so I'm typically always watching someone live, unless there's no one live, then I'm watching Netflix or Hulu or, oh my god, have you not seen Only Murders in the Building? If you have not, you have to go watch it. It is amazing. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that today. We are almost to the end of this video, so I'm going to take this time to say thank you again so much for your support. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and commenting and following and sharing and buying and doing all of the amazing things that you do to help me be here to help me be two years into soap making and oh my gosh it just makes me want to cry because I never thought in a million years that I would be here today in like making this video and making this soap and it's very amazing and very surreal so thank you so very much and um, there are only a couple hours left of everything so let me show you the cut of the soap show you some close-ups and then send you on your way to the website if you would like to check out what is on the website get the 20 percent off if you'd like it and check out the limited edition only available today soaps and finally if you like to place an order you will be entered to win a gift card to the website a hundred dollar gift card to the website Now, you're probably wondering, Hannah, why the heck are you cutting it like this? And the reason why I'm cutting it like this is because I didn't want to cut any of the clay charms because it probably would have broken my cutter and also because I wanted these soaps to be perfect. So I ended up only cutting one slice off this soap and I'm going to cut the rest tonight on TikTok Live after I finish cutting or once I finish cutting 
once I finish making, my goodness, the soaps that we are remaking these guys tonight live so everybody can see how it looks. But this is how it came out. I'm very happy with it overall. I really wanted to do something different from like the normal confetti type of a soap. So I decided the rainbow layers would be a nice, you know, change and mix. But here is a close-up version of the cut of the Baja Cactus. And then I'm going to show you a close-up version of the <laughs> cut of the confetti soap. And then a cute little close-up cut of the little detailed clay charm. Okay, I have, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much again. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Alright, bye!